So I thought I'd do a quick video to show you that our template for the Kindle also works great for children's books with lots of images or any other book. It doesn't have to be a children's book, but uh, children's books have typically more images than other books. So I just wanted to kind of show you an example of adding a few images to a book and show you what it looks like on the Kindle preview tool. So here, of course, we have our cover image there. And then I put an image. Now, I just grabbed some images from a royalty-free site. So I'm sorry, none of these are going to really match. But uh, I grabbed a few images. So here's an image here of a family. And some of these images I've set to show on the same page as the chapter. Other images I've set to show on their own page. And you'll see that in the preview tool. But I'm just showing you what these look like inside of the template. Here's a image hooked to another chapter. We have some text under that. That'll all show up on one page. And then an about the author image, I believe I set this image up to show up on its own page separate from the about the author text. So it's really easy to add images to the template and have them formatted perfectly for the Kindle. So let's jump on over to the Kindle preview tool. And I just uploaded that sample template. We're going to just take a quick look. And so here we go. We have our cover image, uh, which is a nice full page image on the Kindle. So that's always a good thing. And so let me scroll forward a little bit to get to our first image. So chapter one. So I set up the chapter one image to show on its own page after the chapter one text. I could have it on the same page, but I just wanted to do a couple different things so I can show you the differences. So I'm going to hit next. You'll see we have that image of the family and it's taking up the full width of the Kindle screen. I could have it less if I wanted to, uh, and I could have it full page, but I wanted to just show you You've already seen the cover full page, so I thought I'd show you one that's like half the page, and that looks really good. Then the next chapter, here's an example of the image showing up all on the same page as the chapter title, and we put some text underneath that as well. So you could have an image along with your chapter title and text above and or below your image as well. And it could be large text or small text, whatever you want to do. It works really nice. There's a lot of different things you can do. And let me jump forward. And here's that about the author page. I set this image to show on its own page after the about the author text. And that shows up nice uh, full width image here. It takes up the full width of the screen. Obviously, it doesn't look that great in, in black and white on the preview tool. But like on a Kindle Fire or the PC or the Mac app, it'll look really good. So it's really simple, uh, but I haven't really talked much about children's books or books with lots of images. So I just wanted to show you, it's very simple to do. And in the template members area, I show you exactly how to add these images. You can add pretty much as many images as you want, uh, as long as there's not like a thousand. You, you can't have the file be too big for the Kindle, but for the most part, you can add, you know, lots and lots of images to your books if you want to. You can have full page images like this, and you can have images that are smaller. You can have multiple images on one page. You can have images on the same page as text. You can do it all. So whether you're doing a children's book that's a real image heavy book, or you just want to add a lot of images to your books, our Kindle template will be perfect for you. So check it out and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.